If you clicked on this video, you're probably familiar with the gradients that is solo leveling because that shit was fire all the way through. But if you think solo leveling is one of its kind, then y'all boys are greatly and heavily mistaken. Let me put y'all onto some shit that's gonna get in your top 10. Before we start the list, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let's get right into it. We start the list off strong with omniscient reader's viewpoint. It currently has 192 chapters out and it's still ongoing. And this is some good shit. From the art to the story to the different characters that they have and the uniqueness of the story. Story. Y'all boys need to read this. Read this right now. At number two, we have a very popular one, and that's the beginning after the end. I think a lot of men who are readers know this one. If you've read Solo Leveling, I think you've seen the beginning after the end in thousand recommendation videos. But this one is good. It is on a hiatus right now, but it will resume in the spring of 2024. So for those who haven't read it yet, now's the time to pick this shit up. At number three, we have a very strong contender, and that's Legend of the Northern Blade. This one has amazing art it's a bit different from the others in the aspect of the art but i'll bet some money on it that you guys find the art better than not necessarily solo leveling but at least a lot of the others on this list the fights and the character drip in this manhwa is crazy this shit goes wild this is a top tier recommendation right here next up is return of the flowery mountain sect and i don't want to keep repeating myself but this shit is fire especially the main character in this one has a very likable character like he doesn't play around he just on smoke on go every time the art and the character designs and the fights are very clean it has 106 chapters out right now and it's still ongoing as well next up the great mage returns after 4,000 years. Besides the art, the characters, and the fight, the world building in this manhwa is very good as well. It has 189 chapters out right now and it's still ongoing too. It starts off quite strong and it keeps on getting better and better and better. Next up is another one of my personal favorites, Nano Machine. Out of all the different titles on this list, I think the MC from Nano Machine and the one from Legends of the North and Blade are probably the most ruthless. And if you clicked on this video, you probably like strong characters with ruthless personality traits. It has 188 chapters out right now and people are getting sliced up left and right in the manhwa. So make sure to not skip out on this one. Next up is one that actually has a connection to another title on this list and that's the post-destruction world or the world after the end. I think it's made by the same studio or something or at least made in like the same world setting but it has a connection to omniscient reader's viewpoint. I'm not gonna spoil what the connection is for those who haven't read it yet but make sure to read it and you'll see for yourself. Kill the Hero is next on the list. And while the art isn't as amazing as some of the others on this list, it's still very clean. The storyline is very good. It's a bit generic if you ask me, but it's still very fun to see. I think this one is the most similar to solo leveling, at least in the power that the main character has, but it still takes a very different turn than solo leveling does. So it's still very interesting to read. Next up on the list is Mercenary Enrollment. This one has 170 chapters out right now and also is still ongoing. The art is a bit more sloppy compared to some of these top contenders on this list, but this is a good read regardless of that fact. I think the way the story unfolds is very good in this manhwa. So you do see the main character growing, but you see him growing in a very different way. Like he already had his past, he had his amazing training, but you don't know about it yet when you start reading the manhwa. So that unfolds slowly. But I'm not going to spoil it too much, just read it yourself. Next up, the return of the disaster class hero. This one has 74 chapters out right now, so it's a bit on the lower side compared to some of the others. But it's a very good manhwa. It hasn't updated since the 70s. 17th of December so I think they're like taking a little break at the moment but this is your time to catch up that's all I can say about it. Limit Breaker is next and this one is maybe like a silent favorite I like it, I like the characters I like the main character and I think like one of the main characters that get introduced a bit later as the help of the main character and I have to be fair with you I almost forgot to put this one on the list but that will be a disservice to a whole lot of y'all so make sure to read this one it has 117 chapters out right now and it actually just came back from a hiatus so this is the perfect moment to just pick the title up and keep on reading next up is revenge of the iron blooded sword hound and this is one that i recently picked up it has 60 chapters out right now and it's still ongoing but it's a very fun read it's a good read too what i like most about this is the decisions that the main character makes so he does something in the manhwa that is kind of out of order for these types of manhwa which is a good thing because with these types of manga you have the tendency to predict what's going to happen and that wasn't the case 
with this one. So it kind of caught me off guard and I like that they're taking this direction. Next up is Returner's Magic should be special. And this one actually has an anime, but the anime does a huge disservice to the manhwa. The manhwa has 249 chapters out right now, which is a lot, but it's a good read. The art is quite unique as well, but it doesn't throw you off or anything. So I would really recommend reading the manhwa instead of watching the anime. And if you've watched the anime, please just reread the manhwa since you're gonna enjoy yourself a lot more than you did with the anime. Next one on the list is Existence. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm a bit behind on this one. It currently has 72 chapters, I'm on chapter 65, so it's not a lot. But of all the titles, including solo leveling, this one has the best art I've seen yet. The story is very interesting. It gives you like a deeper look into what we call life, what we call human beings, but it doesn't neglect anything on the art and fight scene. So this is a very, very good recommendation. If you already clicked away, that's your own fault. If you're still here watching the video, you just got a gem. And last but not least, we got Overgeared. Overgeared is a bit more on the realistic side since it's in a game, but it also gives you profits in your real life. So it has more of a sword art online vibe than anything else with a bit more of a likable main character. Not that I didn't like Kirito, don't get me wrong, but I feel that you can just, I don't know, align yourself more with this main character. It's a really good read. It has 214 chapters out right now and it actually just updated. So like I said, the perfect time to jump into it. That was the last one of my 15 recommendations of manhwa that looked like solo leveling. I have a lot more manga and manhwa recommendations. So let me know down below in the comments if you want more of these types of videos, maybe you want a different genre, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.